CAP has a lot of programs that most docs who are covered by CAP don't even understand that that exists. Training programs, risk programs, how do you stay out of trouble? Uh, insurance programs to help ensure your practice beyond malpractice. CAP has an opportunity in the solo small environment, which is currently being threatened, to help the physicians in the environment that might push them out, make them join larger groups because they're afraid of standing on their own. And it's hard to do that right now. So CAP, in understanding what the problems are for the business of medicine in somebody's practice, can reach back out and, for instance, we have a new program coming in, MACRA, MACRA and MIPS. All of these reporting requirements that the government is putting on for you to continue to get paid full fare or maybe even a bonus, God forbid, by Medicare. CAP can educate its membership in how do you best comply with that, regardless of the size of your practice, your specialty, regardless of whether you're fully electronic or not electronic. When we came up with the ICD-10 implementation a couple of years ago, CAP was there to help people understand, here's how you put together your plans for instituting ICD-10 so that your cash flow doesn't turn off. We're always faced with things like that that are going to dramatically change the way we practice, the way we do the business side of medicine, and that's where CAP can come in.